So I suppose my aim today is to try and give you provoked thoughts, um, give you a different side of things, my opinion on what I consider best practice and some take home messages that you can practically apply. I always felt that I was a better player when I was put out of my comfort zone and the more times I was and I think that's very important. You're, you're constantly assessing that in a training context. Have I put the players outside of it? Have I put them in worst case scenarios? An open drill is basically the definition would be a drill where instead of me knowing I have to go to C, I now have the options of going to D, E, F, G, H, okay? And instead of knowing that I have skill A just to execute with, that now I'm in a position where I can uh, execute skills B, C and D as well. We should put players in situations where they can practice a phase of play like this, where they're thinking a couple of moves ahead. Having them write down what they want to get out of if we're, if we're mentioning a drill, a specific drill, okay? What they want to get out of it. What their aims would be of a drill.